What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Hauls episode number 48. <laughs> So on this episode of My Damn Hauls, guys, we have these two packages as well as two packages off to the side that I've already opened up. And we have some figures that I picked up at retail. I am also in the process of getting a brand new intro. I don't think I'm going to change my My Damn Hauls intro, but my regular intro, you know, for videos like setups and other videos that we do, predictions and all the other crap that we do here on the channel, action figure surgery and so forth. All of that stuff, I'm looking to do a new intro that's going to be super bad. Eh? I'm working on uh, some music right now for it, as well as some cool stop motion to put in there. Very talented, uh, two very talented people are working towards that right now. So we are in the process of getting that done, so you guys will definitely enjoy that. But on this episode, we have something from the good sponsor, Ringside Collectibles, as well as a customer on Instagram. I think they threw in some goodies. I don't even know what they sent over, so I guess we'll find out. As well as some off packages and retail figures. So I guess we'll go ahead and get into the retail figures and then show you the packages that I've already opened, and then we'll get into these. So if you guys missed our toy hunt yesterday, we picked up these four figures right here. We have the brand new Summer Slam. Seth freaking Rollins looking beautiful in the red attire. This is my second one of these. We also grabbed the SummerSlam Matt Hardy. This is my second one of these. And then we grabbed two of the Elite 55 Neville. You got to go watch the toy hunt, guys. If you missed yesterday's toy hunt, you definitely need to go watch it right freaking now or after this video because they literally had 8,656 Neville Elite 55. So you definitely need to check that out if you did miss out. But uh, we did grab these figures. You know, I missed out on the first opportunity to get the Neville when it released, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And then, of course, I can always make some Matt or Jeff Hardy customs with this Matt Hardy. And then you know how I am about Seth. Got to grab all the sets. Got to make, you know, different versions and fantasy attires and all that BS. So that's all we got to retail, guys. So now... Now that you guys already seen this, let's move on to the next package. The next figure we did grab is this Elite 31 Rock. I believe this thing has been featured on the last three episodes of My Damn Halls. But we did pick this up from Gargano underscore is underscore God on Instagram. Very big fan of the show. He sent this our way. So thank you so much, bro. We'll definitely be able to make some different rock customs out of all these rocks we got. Maybe some fantasy attire, some white fantasy. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments section below, guys. But that is another figure we picked up from Gargano underscore is underscore underscore God. Go give him a follow on Instagram and thank you so much for the rock. Another package that we did pick up are these Kevin Owens decals. Guys, we literally got so many freaking Kevin Owens decals from Curb Stomp City decals on Instagram. You definitely need to go give them a follow, guys. If uh, you're into customs and stuff like that, they make the best uh, Sirik and uh, his team make the absolute best uh, decals for custom WWE action figures. So definitely go give them a follow, guys. We also did grab these KOs. As you saw in our video from two days ago, we're starting to work on a few Kevin Owens customs coming very soon in the next few days. So definitely go check them out and buy yourself some decals for your customs. But now that we've gotten all those things squared away, guys, let's get into our main two packages on this episode. So I guess we can start off with the big old box from Ringside Collectibles the sponsor you know you can go over there get all of your wwe action figures over there using the promo code md toys to save yourself 10 percent people have been hitting me up in the dms telling me that they have been using the code and i really appreciate it guys keep that up that really means a ton to us over here at the channel but uh, you know how we do you can't get inside the box without So I don't think that's going to open the box up, guys. We're going to have to, you know, get it over here, give it a little cutsy, spin it around, cutsy, and one more cutsy on the top, and that should do it. So opening this box up, guys, I know we do have some more stuff coming during the week, but it looks like we do have the brand new retro figures in here, and the first one we got up is the brand new Daniel freaking Bryan. You know, maybe he should be Daniel freaking Bryan instead of Seth freaking Ron. So we got Daniel Bryan in here. We got Shinsuke Nakamura looking fire. We've got Sting in the wolf pack attire in that red and black looking freaking phenomenal. Love that picture up there. And then we have Bray freaking Wyatt. So everybody's freaking over here. 
But uh, we got him in the white pants. This is like Elite 28 Bray Wyatt, so I guess it's sort of a throwback. That figure's literally so old now, so that's kind of crazy that they put him in the white pants. But here we have the retros, guys. I really enjoy these things. I keep them mocked just because I love the way they look in the packaging up on the wall. I really don't have a specific reason to open them. Maybe one day I will, but for right now, I just love the way they look in the packaging. They're really, really awesome. So if you enjoy these and you want to pick them up, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles, guys. Their 4th of July sale is going on right now. I'm about to place my own freaking order. I mean, they got so much good stuff over there for really cheap right now. So definitely go check that out. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10%. But we're moving on to our next package. So our last package today, guys, comes from Ty underscore Goodridge on Instagram. If it is wrong, like I just said it, I'll pop it up on the screen. But, uh... Anyways, I don't think we need the trusty knife for this one. We're just going to tear it open. And oh yeah, speaking of trusty knife, uh, my good boy Nate, Cumbernate on Instagram, and I believe his YouTube channel is also Cumbernate. Before we get into this package, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to him. Go follow him on Instagram. He helped me figure out that the trusty knife right here has opened literally 47 packages. If you don't count the ringside box we just opened, it is 48. So that is absolutely amazing. 48 packages and counting for the trusty knife. So uh, good job, buddy. Come on! No, I'm sorry we didn't use you for this package, but uh, open it up, guys. It looks like we have a note right here, and it says MDT on there. We're going to open this up. It says, thanks for doing stuff for me, bro. Hope you enjoy the extras, Ty. So thank you so much, Ty. I'll go put this in the fan central box. And uh, so let's see what we got in here. It looks like the first thing we got is this Randy Orton-like statue type deal. It sort of looks like a Christmas ornament. Kind of funny looking. That's kind of cool. I'll put this definitely in my fan stuff. Uh, it's kind of funny. I just noticed it's like they put his designs on the front of the trunks instead of the sides. And then his tattoos are only on like the inner part of his arms and not on the outer part. He doesn't have his back tattoo. So it's just like a cheap little Randy Orton uh, statue type deal. But I love this, man. I'm a huge Randy Orton fan. Second favorite of all time. So this will definitely go on my little fan central desk. And we'll definitely hold on to that. It looks like we have some tassels right here. Yellow Ultimate Warrior tassels. You know we can use these for bucks or something like that. So these are great. Uh, right here we have two championships. I did not know they were going to be dull. But uh, I don't think that should be a problem. He commissioned some custom championship belts. So I'll be uh, painting on these and doing some cool stuff with that. Maybe I'll show you guys the result when they're done. So we have these. It looks like we have some figures in here. I know he commissioned one custom. Let's go ahead and slide this stuff out here. Alright, and okay, that's it. But the first figure we have right here is the Elite 56 AJ Styles. And I think what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know if I want to tell you guys, but it's going to be a fantasy attire. It's going to be pretty cool. Cannot wait to get started on that. It should be pretty freaking sweet when it is all said and done. He added open knee pads on there like a good boy. You know, it looks great. He actually cut his elbow pad accurately, so his looks a lot better than mine. But we're going to touch this thing up, guys. I cannot wait to show you guys that. So that's the first figure we got. It looks like he threw in like this custom Gender Mahal, which is absolutely funny. It sort of looks like his 3 and B days, still ripped up. Probably a bit too big for his torso at that time, but still cool. It looks like he used a Nation of Domination rock figure. If I'm not mistaken, he removed the uh, decals, has knee pads, put some white boots on there. Pretty cool figure, though. I could use it for some fodder or something like that, so this is really cool. Gender Mahal Elite. And then what do we have right here? Oh, this is, this is pretty sweet, guys. It looks like a Nick Jackson custom. For the uh, Young Bucks, over here we have a Bullet Club decal. I really like the way these tights came out. I mean, the paint isn't perfect, and the sleeves kind of messed up on some paint, and there's some paint chipping problems, but for the most part, I kind of like this attire. It's pretty simple. You know, you just get black tights and then just dab some different colors on there. I like the way that looks, bro. I'll probably put this over in my fan mail. I like the way this came out. So thank you so much, Ty. I love the way this uh, custom Nick Jackson looks. So thank you so much for all three of these figures as well as those extras, guys. So let's go ahead and check out our entire haul. So here we have the entire haul all lined up. We got the figures we picked up from retail, the SummerSlam Rollins and Matt Hardy, the uh, Elite 55 Neville, the other Elite 55 Neville, the stuff we got from Ty, the AJ, the Gender, 
the custom Nick Jackson, both of the championship title belts, and what we got from Gargano is good. God. With the Elite 31 Rock, of course, with our ringside collectible pickups with the retro Hasbro figures in the back stacked up right there. Uh, pretty solid haul, guys. You know, nothing too, too exciting. You know, nothing over the top, but we do have some great stuff on the way, so definitely be on the checkout for that. Leave a like, comment down below your favorite pickup from this haul here today. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.